everybody, welcome back to Everyday Journey. Today we're going to work on the lawnmower again. Um, got another video out there where I showed I was replacing the uh, ignition coil on it. And uh, the reason why is because it was missing. Um, successfully replaced it. And then it seemed like I fixed the problem, but then it came up even worse than that. And uh, so I'll tell you what the problem is. Um, so it was missing. Um, it was just subtle, and you could just barely notice it. It wasn't that big of a deal, um, but it just didn't seem right. So then I, you know, and, and after I had fixed it, or thought I fixed it, I took it out again, and I just, it really was running really rough. And then whenever I engaged the blades, it really bogged it down quite a bit, and then going through thick grass, it, it bogged it down even more. Um, I actually thought it was going to quit on me. So I was like, all right, I've got an issue here. Um, I already checked, actually. I replaced the spark plugs on it, replaced the ignition coil. Um, I didn't think it was a timing issue, um, although I did talk to somebody, um, and he said that it possibly could be a timing issue. But since it's kind of geared timing on this thing, Unless you broke the teeth on the gear or something, it, you, you really can't change the timing. The only other way it could happen is there's a shear pin on top um, for the flywheel. And in the case that, you know, you hit something really hard, which I don't think you can really do with these type of mowers. Uh, you can with push mowers and stuff, but you, with these kind of mowers, it's not really the issue. Um, I think it's more just to align the timing. But anyway, that shear pin's on top. and. In the case that in a regular lawnmower you hit something really hard and that blade stops on, you know, suddenly, and the flywheel is still going, it's going to shear the pin hopefully before it messes up the shaft and all the components of the engine. Um, but I went ahead and pulled off the flywheel on this thing and checked it out. That that shear pin was still fine. So I put it back together, and I thought, well, you know, it's not happening all the time. That's part of the reason why I thought it wasn't the timing. Um, and it didn't seem to be specific to, uh, well, it just didn't seem like a carburetor issue, the way it was happening. Uh, but I basically diagnosed it down to a manifold gasket. And on my lawnmower, it actually has the one carburetor that branches off and goes to both sides of the engine through the manifold. And uh, so I saw online somebody saying, you know, you could take some, uh, some carb cleaner and right where the manifold actually goes up to the engine, you can spray it right, just, just lightly spray it right around the edges of that um, while it's running. And if you see or if you hear the engine do something different whenever you spray it, it's because it's sucking in that, that uh, carb cleaner and it's making it run differently. So obviously there you've got a problem because that should be sealed. So I did that to both sides. I only got it on one side that showed me the issue. Um, but I've got a manifold gasket. Well, for both sides, and I'm going to go ahead and replace that now. So, sorry about the long intro, but that's what I'm doing. So, let's check it out.
to fix the problem, mowed the grass just like it should. Um, before it would have, it would have bogged down. You would have noticed it. It would have been. I mean, it was it was very noticeable. I thought it was actually going to kill the mower. Um, this is what I used. This is just a uh, a roll of gasket making material. Um, you can find this pretty cheap online, and uh, I just keep it around. That way, in the case that I mess up a gasket like that, I can go ahead and just take it, trace it out, cut it out, and uh, and then put it on there. And seals just fine. Um, I'm not sure exactly what all it works for, um, but it works fairly well for carburetors. Um, I don't know if it's high heat, so I doubt you could use it for, and that's the reason why I didn't use it for the uh, the engine, the, the manifold gaskets, because it's right there next to the engine, so it gets too hot. Um, but anyway, that that fixed the problem. That was that was stumping me for quite some time. Um, luckily, I did find that that link or that uh, that blog where somebody was talking about it. Um, they had the same kind of problem, and I never really even thought of that. So um, it just turned out that was an easy easy way to check it um, using the carb cleaner. Um, not really sure if carb cleaner was the best answer for that. Uh, maybe starter fluid would have been a better choice, but that's all I had at the time. I don't have any starter fluid, so I put that on there. I guess WD-40 might work too. Um, anything that's anything that will uh, ignite like that. Um, and I just used a small bit. That way, even if carb cleaner wasn't the best idea, it would at least show me the problem. So if you guys like this, and or if you have any questions about it, definitely uh, hit the like button. Put some comments out there for me. Um, definitely come back and see what else I come up with here in the near future. And uh, until next time, y'all take care.